Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you um, another sort of dog bandana. You may have seen our ones previously, but this is one that you simply slip onto your dog's collar so you don't have to worry about it being tied up at the back. And I found a great way to personalise them uh, using the Cricut Maker machine and some of their everyday iron-on vinyl. So we'll get to that bit because that's actually quite exciting in a minute. But first of all, very simply to make your bandana in the first place, if you take a square of fabric that's about 10 inches square, fold it into a triangle and fold it into another triangle and then simply take a ruler and a rotary cutter and chop off about one inch or two and a half centimetres from one end. So you've got two little triangles. So you've now got your square, but it's got truncated corners. So if you finger press in those corners by about a centimetre, and rather than pinning them, I am actually just going to grab some glue and just lightly hold them in place with a bit of glue. And then just stitch those down with about a six mil seam allowance. Ordinarily, what you might want to do is actually use coordinating thread. But if you've ever seen any of our demos before, I tend to keep white cotton in the machine all the time so that you can actually see where the stitch line is. So you've simply hemmed those corners and then folded in half line up your hemmed edges, pop a pin in them, and then we're simply going to sew the two raw edges together. So you've sewn it into a triangle. Let's just cut those ends off. And snip off this bottom point without snipping the, the stitching. And then just pop your finger inside the gap by one of the hemmed edges and turn the whole thing inside out. And then to make it a nice neat finish so it, it holds its shape all the time, I would recommend that you top stitch these seams. five or six mil seam allowance.
like so. Making a conscious effort to trim off all these little bits of cotton as I go along. So you've got your bandana shape. And then if you just get your ruler, fold up about an inch and finger press it and then stitch along that finger press line. And that will create the channel that you can put your dog's collar through. So it will sit on an existing collar um, and then you've also, you can still make sure the collar's got your, your attachment for your lead. So then what we want to do is we want to personalise it. And I've got some ideas here that I've designed. Um, there's quite a nice design package with the Cricut Maker. Uh, and you can just play around with fonts and images and things like this. And as my dog is a rescue dog, that's what design he had. But I'm going to do a couple of bandanas while I'm here. And there's one that I've created already, and it is just simply a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you would cut vinyl. Now, you can buy the vinyl. Um, these are really nice, actually. These are little packs of three. They're about nine centimetres wide, um, quite long, but they're for small vinyl projects. And what you would do is, with any electronic die cutting machine, you'll get a sticky mat. The sticky mat will come with this to protect the stickiness. Don't ever lose this, because if you've got a house with dogs and cats and you molt yourself, every time you finish using the mat, it really does pay to put the, the cover back on it to stop it picking up dust. Now I've cut myself a piece of vinyl, which I know is going to be big enough for the design that I've chosen. And what you need to do is you need to pop it shiny side down on the mat is because the shiny side is actually the liner and this matte side is what you will be ironing on to your fabric. So I've got my machine set up, I will just need my reading glasses because my laptop's so far away I can't see what I'm doing. It just needs to connect to my machine which it has. And also what it will do with this, with the whole um, design space software that you have with your Cricut machine, it will show you various things, various different materials that you can load. So I've set this to vinyl, I've loaded my mat, just checking I've got enough room behind it for the mat, and now I'm just going to press go. There you go. I'm going to take my small ironing board and my iron and give this ready-made bandana a press because what you do is once your design has been cut out you'll end up with something like this and I've already weeded out the parts that I don't need and I'm just going to weed out this background of vinyl that I don't need. And it comes away from the liner fairly easily. There we go. You can just peel it out, like so. And try not to touch the vinyl itself as your, or the vinyl that you're keeping. Try not to touch it as you're weeding or peeling away the background. There you go. And as you can see, when you turn it over, it's the correct way up. And then it's quite simply a matter of pressing it onto your fabric. With the liner being sticky, it's really good because what you can do is you can position this and you can position it well. 
before you iron it. And then I'm using a domestic iron for this, predominantly because there's not enough room in the table. I have actually got um, a Cricut Easy Press, which is like a, a flat iron thing, perfectly set to the temperature, perfectly set to the timing. No room on the table, as you can see. So I'm just going to use a normal iron. This is set to between one and two, so I can touch it, but I can't touch it for long. And I'm just going to press down on this vinyl with a medium pressure for about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. If you're using something like an easy press, or in fact, if you're using a domestic iron, there is always um, hints and tips online that you can find for the best way to do your project. And what they do recommend is that you peel away the liner while it's still warm. So I think that has been on there for long enough. And just carefully peel it away, like so. Before you do iron your vinyl onto your fabric, just double check that there's not bits of dog hair and lumps of things underneath it. And there you've got a personalised bandana. Now I'm just going to show you what your cut design looks like when it's come from the machine. So if we unload the mat, now you probably can't see this on the overhead camera, the design has actually been cut out of the vinyl. And what you need to do is you can just peel the entire piece off your mat. And if you look at it from that side, it doesn't look like it's been touched, but believe me, it has. Um, just take your protective mat before you do anything else and stick it back over your sticky mat to stop dust and dog hair getting on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to what they call weed out the centres of these letters. So there's two, two centres in the B and one in the R. And then what I should be able to do is just take away the whole of the background. I've realised I've been incredibly wasteful on this because I have actually cut my strip bigger than necessary, but for the purposes of demonstration, there's nothing wrong than half your lettering falling off the edge of your materials. Doesn't look great, does it? There we go. And in case you're wondering, yes, my dog is called Rebel. We didn't name him that, he was a rescue. And we didn't want to cause him any more undue stress by renaming him something totally different, like Ptolemy. And I'm just going to pop that down here. And I'm going to try and position it, because this is a floral design, I'm going to try and position it so that the flowers don't really interfere with the wording. And I'm also going to try and make sure it's parallel, yeah. And again, just iron it with a less than medium heat iron. And a moderate around, uh, amount of pressure. and then peel it away. Oh look, there you go. Oh. There you go. Yes, any mistakes here are purely human error. It says a warm peel, it's not, it shouldn't be a hot peel. You do need to let it cool down a bit before you try and peel it away. Makes quite a nice personalised dog bandana. And as I say, what you can do is you can simply Take your dog's collar through the channel that you've left at the top. Now you're going to look at this and think, hang on a minute, that's a paracord bracelet fixing. Yes, you're absolutely right because I didn't have a spare dog's collar. But same sort of idea and thread it so that your dog can wear it and you can still attach the lead. So 
I've enjoyed making them. I hope you've enjoyed watching how they are made. I hope that's given you some inspiration to do some of your own things. And I mean, if you've got a local drug rescue, this kind of thing will be great for fundraising because essentially it is just one square of fabric and a little piece of vinyl. We will catch you again very, very soon. We'll have some more demonstrations coming up. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and take care. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.